Welcome back, guys, to Nintendo. Let's go. Nintendo Caprice not here. And this is Ace Attorney. Justice for all. We just started on the first case in the last video. Oh, by the way, my bottom screen is fixed. So thank me. <laughs> Actually, it's you guys I have to thank for that. So, here we go. Amnesia. I can't believe my lawyer's trying to defend me in such a sorry state. I, uh... I can't really explain myself here. Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you could fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on, lower your head a little. A maggy kick should be all you- Oh, no. Whatever you're thinking about doing, please don't do it. Hmm. Pass on this one. Maybe you should pass the blunt. Maybe that would help. Yeah. Well, she's such a good person. Well, actually, I kind of know the feeling. Oh, she's so cute the way she looks up like that. Like, oh. Alright, yeah, whatever. Yeah, fill me in. Of course, I'd be honored to. Actually, normally I would be the one doing the filling, but never mind. I didn't just say that. Well, I guess we'll start with my name, and I can... I know your name, dude. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. So I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix Wright? What a weird name. Hmm, this is serious. You really don't remember. Tell you what, sir. You could have this back and maybe it'll help. What? Business card? Really? She's giving me my own business card to help me- Oh, numbers written on the back, what? Well, that's your cell phone number. Phoenix's business card added to the court record. Well, that changes things a little bit. Or does it? So, I mean, they wouldn't put it there if it wasn't important, but I can't imagine why that, why that could possibly come up. Yeah, you're a man, you're 29 years old, you're uh, about 5% body fat. Incident with a cell phone? Huh? Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Oh god, what is this? Oh man, I'm afraid what I'm about to hear is going to be hazardous to my IQ. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. Huh? That's the phone, that's the same ringtone that I was hearing at the beginning. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Beep. Hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that the person in the cell phone, uh, whoever was on the other end of that cell phone, is probably the person who did the killing, because he heard her name over the phone. So it would make sense for him to not know how it was spelled. But, but that's just a theory, a game theory. Thanks for watching. So they never what? Uh, did she say he never showed up for it? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy being a dumb shit. So, oh, you gave it. Okay, I was wondering why I had the phone. Yeah, she gave it to me. Okay, that makes sense then. Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up. Ah! 
You were here all along! What? What? Dude! I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up! And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left. What is Maya doing here? And Phoenix is not gonna know who she is. This is... Fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Maggie. Oh, thank god she knows Maggie. Okay. So, so, how's it going? Man, it's good to see you again, Ma Maya. Is there a word for worse than abysmal? <laughs> oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? Then I would have to believe it. Then it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra-decisive, super-important evidence. Here you are, Nick. The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. Just play along. Play along, Phoenix. It'll all make sense in the end. 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. Oh. Huh. There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. They call themselves the Foot? <laughs> okay. I know, it sounds like a funky club for podiatrists or something, but, uh... Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me! And where'd you get this list from in the first place? What? Why are you asking that? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday. Oh, is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. Huh. That's where they're from. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks. Thanks a lot. My, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright, recess is now over, damn it. The worst possible time. Oh. We can talk about you being old later, Nick. Yeah, thank you so much. Wish us luck. I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. <laughs> the thing you're lacking is a brain to actually put them together. Yeah, I hear ya. So are you going to join us in the courtroom at least? Give me some good luck vibes or something here. Oh, 11.54 a.m. We can't start court now. It's six minutes to lunchtime. Hmm, well, whatever. The court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness. Oh, this witness. But before I do, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I asked that the court might be a little lenient on... There is no need to give up preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls his next witness. A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Oh, it's him! Dude, it's Ego Raptor! It's the same guy who knocked me with a fire extinguisher. Ugh. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. The reason John left Game Grumps is because... Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Alright, go ahead. Just now you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk? Did I? But I'm not stand for that! Now you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Sure, I suppose going to be a university student, but a human assessment will be able to do that kind of... I don't to be able to help us start with the quality. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's more like a thunder box, you know? The thunder box. The toilet. The toilet. The toilet. Fashion cars, women, glasses, and of course, the university. First grades only need to apply. Glasses. But you aren't wearing glasses. <laughs> yeah, let's get on with this. My name is Ego Raptor. 
He just asked for your name! He's not playing games! What? Dude, he just asked for your name. Good lord. Oh. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Dude, Judge, don't... What? I forgive you. There's... Oh! I am Richard Wellington. The drifting virtuoso. With a PhD in drifting, as it were. If you wanted to, you can call me a university student in transit. Shit, I just got a Skype message. I wonder who it is. Hey, Mr. Wellington. On the day of the murder, you were taking a, uh, strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you were attached to that word, if you must then by all means. And I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mommy. If you must know, what? Yes! Oh my god, Payne's got some balls here. <laughs> yes, thank you. You tell that asshole. Jeez, man. What I saw that day. <sighs> okay, so, um... Let's just get into it here. I was at the park all afternoon deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past six. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above right in front of my eyes. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. The banana? Yeah, I guess. Well, that's good. Hmm. What's that? That guy is lying! <laughs> that would be the logical conclusion. You may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. Gladly. Let's do it. Let's show this guy what for, man. So let us begin. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't want to know your life situation, but I'm going to ask anyway, because... It's because we're playing a game here, after all, so... Hmm. What?! Dude! Baboon?! Did you just call me a baboon? Well, you're a shit-eating cock monkey. Uh-huh. Oh, please. Which university I go to will directly affect the very future of this country? Jeez. Just, yeah, arrogant would be an understatement for sure. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All right. Hmm. I just have a really good perception of time, that's all. Dude, cut out your three adjective sentences, good lord. Mm hmm. Press harder. Because I, because I looked at the sundial. You can't even answer the question, can you? Alright, then what is it? There was this little thing they call a clock at the park. <laughs> Okay. Well, that would make sense. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Here he goes again. Oh, man. Freaking ego raptor. And yet again, another flood of meaningless words, whatever. 
Ah, uh, what? Jeez. Phoenix, you're getting pretty... <laughs> you're getting a little mouthy yourself there, boy. But then, well, there you go. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above right in front of my eyes. Hmm. How did you know he was a police officer? Well, he was in uniform. You obviously have no idea how powerful my deductive reasoning skills are. With one glance, I can tell just what kind of occupation he held. That shoddy do-it-yourself hairstyle practically will oh. oh, oh, yeah. Uniform. It's the word I was looking for. I Google it all the time. No, I'm just kidding. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Hey, Nick. Do you think he's figured out what I do? <laughs> Even I haven't figured that out yet. Ha ha ha! Nice one. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Why would you say she was charming if you think she's the one who did it? Are you sure you got a good look at her face? <coughs> oh, oh my god, this guy is the biggest smartass I've ever seen, man. I don't care if I... Yeah, you, you probably should care whether or not you have eyes, Phoenix. Oh, well, here we go. I have to, just to get, just so people can hear me over his loud mouth. You tell him to stop, you know... I mean, it's not that he's raising his voice, but he just never shuts up. He just goes on talking and saying the first thing that comes to his mind... And I would do the same thing if I could sit here and talk all day long, just like I did in that Mega Man 3 video. But if I did that right now, that would kind of defeat the purpose of this video, because we're trying to get along with the plot here and get along with the story. And the Phoenix Ride always has a great story. That's what the games are known for. But if I sit here and talk like that, then that delays the story. And then you sit here and you're wasting your time, and you're wondering, why doesn't he get on with this stupid fucking video instead of sitting here talking like he thinks he's so funny or something? So why? <laughs> That's the perfect thing he could have said. After what I just said, did. Said slash did. Now I need to blow my nose. Uh, blow. <coughs> Alright. Of course I remember her sweet face. It was that of that pretty defendant there. Don't call my defendant pretty. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Don't confuse your pitiful train wreck of a life with mine. I didn't... I don't even... No! No, you're not! You're not! I was doing this long before you started. I've been LPing since 2008. You started in what, like 2011? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we're just playing... We're just role-playing here, Tim. Stop. Okay. There is no way someone is magnificent. Of course, of course. Well, of course. Of course, of course. Anything else of interest, witness? The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. Now, this is interesting. What the hell does a banana have? Now, is he talking about the glove? Well, it's actually more than just one. More like a... Yeah, he is talking about that fucking thing. Now, what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? I don't know. We were playing Donkey Kong Country at the time. Maybe they just flew out of the 3DS. I don't know. Just, yeah, well, there you go. 